Rigging Supervisor, Interview, Questions, and Answer. Question, what is the importance of a rigging plan, and how do you go about creating one? A rigging plan is crucial for ensuring safety and efficiency during lifting operations. It involves detailed planning of the lift, including load calculations, equipment selection, and identifying potential hazards. I start by understanding the load characteristics, then select appropriate rigging equipment, assess the site for any obstacles, and ensure all personnel are briefed on the plan. Question, can you explain the process of determining the load capacity of lifting equipment? The load capacity of lifting equipment is determined by consulting the manufacturer's specifications and considering factors like the angle of lift, sling type, and condition of the equipment. I also factor in safety margins and regularly inspect the equipment to ensure it remains within safe operating limits. Question. How do you ensure the safety of your team during rigging operations? Safety is paramount. I ensure that all team members are properly trained and certified, conduct pre-lift meetings to discuss the rigging plan and enforce the use of personal protective equipment, PPE. Regular inspections of the equipment and work site, as well as adherence to safety protocols, are critical. Question. How do you handle conflicts within your team? I address conflicts by first understanding the root cause through private discussions with the involved parties. I then mediate a resolution by encouraging open communication and focusing on common goals. It's important to maintain a professional and respectful work environment. Question. What strategies do you use to keep your team motivated and productive? I keep my team motivated by recognizing their efforts, providing opportunities for professional development, and maintaining open lines of communication. I also ensure that they are well informed about project goals and how their work contributes to overall success. Question How do you prioritize tasks in a high pressure environment? I prioritize tasks based on urgency and impact on the project. Safety is always the top priority, followed by critical path activities that directly affect the project timeline. I delegate tasks according to team members' strengths and experience to ensure efficiency. Question, what would you do if you discovered a safety hazard during a lift? I would immediately stop the operation and assess the hazard. I would then implement corrective measures, such as removing the hazard or adjusting the rigging plan and ensure that all team members are informed before resuming the lift. Question, what are the key factors to consider when selecting rigging hardware for a specific job? When selecting rigging hardware, I consider the weight and dimensions of the load the center of gravity, environmental conditions, and the type of lift, for example, vertical, horizontal, or angle. I also check the working load limit, WLL, and ensure compatibility with other equipment being used. Question, can you explain the difference between a direct lift and an indirect lift? A direct lift involves lifting the load directly with rigging equipment attached to the load itself. An indirect lift, on the other hand, involves the use of additional equipment or structures, such as lifting beams or spreader bars, to distribute the load and reduce stress on the lifting points. Question, how do you conduct a pre-lift inspection? A pre-lift inspection involves checking all rigging equipment for wear, damage, or defects. I ensure that shackles, slings, hooks, and other hardware are in good condition and rated for the load. 
I also verify that the lift area is clear of obstructions and that all personnel are aware of their roles and the rigging plan. Question, what are some common rigging failures and how can they be prevented? Common rigging failures include sling breakage, hook failure, and load imbalance. These can be prevented by regularly inspecting equipment, using appropriate rigging techniques, and following manufacturer guidelines. Proper training and adherence to safety protocols are also crucial. Question, how do you ensure clear communication among your team during a lift? I ensure clear communication by conducting thorough pre-lift briefings, using standardized hand signals, and providing two-way radios for critical operations. I also establish a clear chain of command and encourage team members to speak up if they notice any issues. Question, describe a time when you had to train a new team member. What approach did you take? When training a new team member, I start with a comprehensive overview of safety protocols and the importance of following procedures. I then provide hands-on training with supervision, gradually increasing their responsibilities as they become more confident and skilled. I also encourage questions and provide constructive feedback. Question, what steps would you take if you notice that the lifting equipment is not functioning properly during a lift? I would immediately stop the lift and assess the situation. I would ensure the load is safely lowered and secure the area to prevent any accidents. Then, I would inspect the equipment to identify the issue, report it to the maintenance team and not resume the lift until the equipment is fully repaired and tested. Question, how do you manage changes in the rigging plan due to unexpected site conditions? I remain flexible and adapt to changes by reassessing the site conditions and modifying the rigging plan accordingly. I consult with the team and engineers to develop a new plan that addresses the unexpected conditions Clear communication with the team and thorough safety checks are essential before proceeding. Question, what would you do if you found that the load specifications provided were incorrect or incomplete? I would halt the operation and request accurate load specifications from the client or engineering team. It's essential to have complete and correct information to ensure the safety and success of the lift. I would also review the rigging plan and adjust it as necessary based on the new information.